building the ordnance, 16,000 pounds of ordnance under the wing, let alone that 30 millimeter Gatling gun. And I told you we'd pull the joint out when I go to federal prison. By the way, there's a lot of these on ground display. And uh, my buddies from the 122nd Black Snakes in Fort Wayne, Indiana are here with many of their A-10s. They're on ground display. And as I was walking around before the show started this morning, so many spectators were going up to that Gatling gun in the nose and just patting it saying, man, I'm glad I'm a good guy and not a bad guy because that is one awesome weapon. Let alone 16,000 pounds of ordnance under the wings, bombs, rockets, and all those type of things. Now you see how agile the airplane is? It is fast. It is agile. The enemy tries to get their sights from a ground-based tank into the airplane, but it does what we call the Jinko maneuvers. It's high, it's low. And it works in pairs, two airplanes in the air at the same time. The tank commanders don't know that they're being attacked. Now the 30 millimeter cannon is meant to penetrate the, uh, the wall of the tank. It's meant to go inside the tank but not come out the other side. Once it's inside, it ricochets around and destroys all of the hydraulics and all of the radios. In Operation Desert Storm, that airplane was so effective, it eliminated, it destroyed 987 tanks alone. That was a tank that couldn't harm our allied pilots and ground troops. And the list went on to artillery over 900 destroyed, trucks, command vehicles, military structures were destroyed, bunkers, scud missile sites, and in one case against the helicopter, they had an air-to-air -air dogfight, and our A-10 shot down the enemy's helicopter, and that is pretty cool. You'll hear that it's quiet. That's called tactical surprise. Two And in camera shots from the A-10, it shows that when our A-10 pilot selected a tank, or maybe not even that tank, a closer one, in order to survive, the tank crew, the enemy tank crew, would leave the tank and head out into the desert in all directions, like rats off a sinking ship, rather than take the wrath of this airplane. The pilot sits in a titanium bathtub that protects his behind and his well-being and the radios and some of the hydraulic gear from damage from a lucky shot on the ground. Ambrose 